Most of you by now can perform a bodyweight squat. Okay, I should be able to perform a bodyweight squat. That's a bilateral exercise, because it's using both of our legs. What we're going to work towards is a single leg squat. Okay, that's a unilateral exercise, because it's only using one limb. I'll give you a quick demo. So that there is what we eventually want to work up towards. Okay, a full uh, single leg squat or pistol squat. We're going to work through three variations today to help improve that. First one we're going to do, so I'm just using a bench here, but you can use a chair or a sofa. Okay, stand relatively close to the bench. I'm going to start on my right leg, I'm going to extend my left leg out in front. First exercise what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the downwards phase of that movement. So from there, with control, I'm going to slowly work down, bring this foot back in, and then stand up. Okay, you want to try and go as slowly as you can with this exercise, with as much control as possible. And then back up. The second exercise we're going to do is working on the upwards phase. So have this foot back on the floor again, extend one leg out in front, and also we're working on this upward phase. Okay, and we can start to add in a bit of speed now. Okay, up. then we're going to rest, put this foot down, and sit down. Back out, up, bring this foot in, sit back down. Okay, the third exercise, you're just going to be putting that movement all together. Okay, so extend this leg out, control on the way down, bit of speed on the way back up. Control on the way down. And eventually, we'll be able to work up to performing a full pistol squat. Okay, exercise. We'll be working the split squat. Okay, so the first variation, I'm going to go into the split stance or a lunge position. Okay, notice that my feet about the shoulder width apart. Okay, if I'm too narrow, it's going to be really hard to balance. The shoulder width apart. Take a big step back, okay? Head and chest up, pull our shoulder blades back. And then we're going to lunge down, squat down. Okay, so the knee's just above the floor. And this knee's above my ankle. And I'm going to come back up. Okay, and then back down. Back up, and we'll work off both sides. Okay? The second progression is we're going to use a chair or a sofa. In this case, I've got a bench. And we're going to raise our rear leg off the floor. Okay, same principle. We're going to squat down, keep that knee as much as we can over our ankle, head and chest up, and then push back up to the top. Good, then we can progress even further to the third exercise. You can use a book or anything you've got in the house. Act as a bit of a counterbalance and also add some resistance. Take our foot out. Hold the book out in front of us. Then we're going to squat down and then back up. Okay. Okay, so our last component of today's session is going to be working on some muscular endurance. Now, hopefully you've had a chance to talk with your teacher about what you think muscular endurance is. So what we're basically going to do is we've got three exercises. Each exercise, you're going to spend 30 seconds doing that. And then you're going to move straight on to the next exercise and straight on to the third exercise after that. You're then going to have a minute's rest. Then we're going to repeat it and we're going to do that three times. Okay, so you really want to be pushing yourselves with this. Take rest when needed and make sure each exercise is performed um, with the best technique that you possibly can. Okay, so the first one that we're going to do is a squat jump. So from there, in our squat position, we've done this now. We're going to squat down, use our arms behind us, fire up and jump as high as we can and land back down in the squat position and then fire up. 
Okay, so up and down in those squat jumps for 30 seconds. We're then going to move into 30 seconds of walkouts. So it's very similar to the inch round that we did earlier. We're going to walk our hands down, we're going to walk out, and then we're going to come back into our squat and stand up. Squat down, walk out, come back in, squat and stand up, squat down, walk out, back in, stand up. Okay, that's our second exercise. Now our third exercise is we'll be working a bit on that lunge, a bit on that split squat that we previously did. What we're going to do is we're going to step back, lunge, knee drive. Then we're going to step down, lunge, knee drive, step down, lunge, knee drive, okay? Okay, those are the three exercises 